self-care day. It's a morning. I was gonna vlog this last night, but I felt pretty crabby. So, I just woke up, I slept in, I did the thing, I just needed to sleep in. But today I have stuff to do. It is a big day today. So, I gotta do stuff, I have to shower, blow out my hair, you know, shave. You can see my hair's greasy. I won't lie, she's greasy. But I wasn't gonna wash it until yesterday or today, so I waited. So, the first thing we're gonna do is shave. I like to shave before I take a shower just because I like to just be able to see everything I'm shaving. So we're gonna head over to the bathtub and we're gonna start shaving. All right, so this is the shaver I use. You have little like changeable things and it comes with like soap bars on it, so I use that. I like to exfoliate and I've been using the Tree Hot Vanilla Scrub. This is so yummy. I wish you guys can smell it. I know most of you know what this smells like, but she looks so good. I try not to use it all the time because I don't like to exfoliate my legs too much because I am sensitive. So I try to keep it at like when I'm like really like gonna shave. So I need to shave head to toe. I need to do my armpits, my legs, everything. You know what I mean? So we're going to do that. I also use shaving cream. I just use any random like shaving cream I get it from Target. I can link it all down below, but I'm going to start shaving. <laughs> milk and shea butter again i can link it down below i get mine from target um that's usually what i use for my body and what i use for the shower so i'm going to hop in real quick and shower up okay we are all out of the shower and felt great i shaved i did everything i needed to do so what i like to do after i get out of the shower is get all of my things together so my hair products my skincare and my clothes and i have some q-tips i'm going to clean my ears so after i clean my ears out i like to get dressed because i'm going to do my skincare and all that but i also like to put lotion on so i'm going to put on the lubiderm i use this for my tattoos everything so i absolutely love lubiderm again you can get it from target cvs anywhere okay so after i lotion up and get dressed i go in with my skincare skincare link down below as well but this is my face wash okay so after i wash my face i like to go in with my bioderma i put it on a little cotton pad and i wipe my face down with it just to cleanse it and make sure there's you know no dirt or anything I love how it feels on my face. It's so cold. I go in with the Avena Calm and Restore. It's like an oat treatment. I use most of their 
face products as well. I like to switch around. So after this, I go in with my moisturizer, but I have two different moisturizers. The Athena Ether Moisturizer, it's not like the drops, it's an actual moisturizer. I use that at night. And then the Dr. Jart, I think it is, I'll be using that one next. Um, I use that for daytime because it's like a really strong moisturizer and it's hot here so I like to keep it on my face during the day just to keep my face very moisturized and especially under makeup it feels really good. After that I'm gonna go in with the Dr. Chart. I use like a finger amount. It's almost out. I like to just place it where it needs to be. Don't forget your neck, forehead. Come in. Say hi. Here. <coughs> you want to get going? It says it's open, so. Are you taking Zoe? Some deodorant. I'm safe, I love you. Be careful. It's a secret deodorant. Alright, so one of you lovely people commented. I'll put the comment right here. Um, but you were asking about my hair. So, how do you keep your hair super long and healthy looking without getting any serious hair knots? As I used to have longish hair, but I had to cut it all off because it kept getting in bad knots in the middle and the bottom, even though I did everything I could. Um, oh, I didn't, that's not finished. Um, I did everything I could to stop them coming back and again and again. Also, I'm a natural redhead like you too. Okay, first off, thank you for commenting. That's one. Second off, um, I love my redhead people. You're amazing. Um, and third is what I do before bed and when I wake up, I brush my hair. I usually have my hair up in a ponytail or in a bun if I'm like cleaning or doing stuff if I'm out and about. If I'm out, then my hair is down and long. Like, I don't do my hair every day. But what I do try to do is, before I go to bed, I like to brush my hair out, put it in a bun at the top, and then what I also like to do is brush it out in the morning. I try to keep my hair very like in one spot. When you're sleeping and you're moving around, you create a lot of knots. But if you also don't brush your hair every day, you're gonna get knots. So what I like to do is brush it morning and night, keep it in a bun, keep it in a ponytail if I'm doing stuff. Um, I like to use restoring hair products, so stuff that's like helping my hair. Check that out. Um, you can always use what um, Google recommends. I don't know what they recommend, but you can look it up. Some are, are pricey. I think that ran for like eight bucks. It's a large shampoo, so I think that's pretty good. Um, what else? Yeah, I just try to keep like a lot of like, I don't use too many products in my hair. Shampoo, conditioner, um, and then if I did a hair mask, but I usually try not to do that because it kind of pulls my hair out. But what I do after the shower is with the Aussie, it's a heat protectant. That also helps my hair. I like to spray it in there when I'm done with the shower and then I will brush it out. Use a wet, a wet hair brush I think it is called. Yeah, it's called wet. So if you use that, it's kind of easy to brush through your hair. So I try to, I use a couple different hair brushes but that is one of them. See, you can see my hair is really knotty after I shower. But going through the wet brush, I'm using the wet brush as I'm not using it. But if I was to use that wet brush, you see it's not like pulling. And this works on dry or damp hair. So definitely check a wet brush out because they see like you don't hear anything ripping and it just like goes through it like a dream. I do get very knots at the end. What I try to do with my shampoo is I do my shampoo at the top of my scalp and then my conditioner all of my scalp. So I don't, I let the shampoo run down my hair down here, but I don't like put shampoo at the ends. That also dries out your hair and drying out your hair can
can lead to it knotting very quickly. So try to keep your hair from knotting. Try to use those different techniques, but it's really up to you guys. I just am giving my advice. But yeah, so I love this. It's almost empty. I love this heat protectant. So I was gifted with the Dyson. I absolutely love it. Um, this will be, I think, my like fourth time using it. Um, I'm gonna blow out my hair because I do not leave my hair wet anymore. So I used to let it sit wet all day. I don't do that anymore. So we're gonna blow her out now and I'm gonna show you guys what I do. So what I like to do is put my hair in sections. So I try to do, I think, th about three sections, like to blow out my hair. I think that's how much hair I have. And I try to cut my hair every couple of months. Um, I grew up with my mom doing my hair, so I never really had to get haircuts. But now that my mom is back in Florida, she's not here to cut my hair. Um, I've never really trusted people cutting my hair, just because bad experiences, and then my mom just always cut it. So, but I did cut it a couple, of, well, like three months ago, I think. So my length is pretty freaking long, but yeah, we're gonna start blowing her out. This is the Dyson I use. I don't know if there's a different one, but so I'm gonna use the blow drying part because I'm gonna start drying my hair. So you like clip her in and then you can like unclip it and take it out. It is really cool. So it is on high and then I'm gonna start blowing out my hair um, and then we'll chat after. But this is, this is how it is. I just start blowing out my hair. It, I really hope it blow dries my hair pretty quickly. So this is the second section. This is about almost done. So we're gonna start drying the next half real quick. We're on the last piece right now guys this honestly took me like maybe 10 minutes to do how crazy but that is great because usually when i'm working here salon they have like five million hours straight but it's very puffy i do want to go in with the straightener and straighten my hair real quick so i have used the same straightener for so long that the name is so worn off but it is literally my absolute favorite all right so we're gonna get to straightening now i use the heat protectant so my hair is good uh, she has to warm up a little bit we're gonna straighten her real quick my worst part is like my baby hair is in the back. I don't know, does anyone else have those? Is it just me? I have like so many baby hairs and they're like curly because my natural hair is curly. So my hair like sticks out in the back. I don't know if you guys can, you guys can definitely tell from here. They get so curly and I have to like, I don't know. Get them, I have to like get it back in there without burning myself. like so that's really it for 
today's video, I kind of just wanted to give you guys a look of my self-care. I usually would do like a nose strip or a face mask and lay and relax with my eyes closed. But I have things to do today and I have to go put a full face of makeup on. So we'll save a full relaxation for another video. I know today's video is kind of short, but thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.